I'm going to be doing a getting ready with me type of video. I was watching Alicia Marie's vlogs and I thought it'd be super fun to show you guys what I've been doing for my makeup lately and I do want to do a makeup look on my main channel. I'm just waiting on a couple of products that have not come in the mail yet. I just checked the mail today and they were not there. It's not that cold out. So I'm thinking that I might film a little bit outside. It really just depends on my mood. I am not going to be building a snowman even though that's a clip that I wanted to do, but I don't think I'm going to be doing that. I might be doing that for like a winter type of video. But anyways, I thought I would take you guys along in the steps that I take for my makeup. And the first thing I'm using is this BB cream. And I was filming this earlier and for some reason the memory card I had like aired on me. So not really sure. But anyways, I was just putting on this BB cream and that's the start of my makeup. If you guys can tell, I've used so much of this product recently. I just absolutely love it. I'm supplying this BB cream with my beauty blender and I'm breaking out some. I have acne like right here and a couple here and here and I don't know why because I've not been doing anything like abnormal to my skin or anything like that. So now I'm going to be applying concealer. And if you guys can tell, I've had this concealer a while and I've used a lot of it. So I like to use this brush that I have to apply the concealer instead of like applying it with my fingers because I've done that before. But I'm just going to draw kind of like random shapes with my concealer. I think you're supposed to do like a triangle. I'm not really sure, but I just kind of work with it and I'm just going to apply this wherever. I am breaking out because it's really nice and this is by It Cosmetics. It's a pretty full coverage concealer. Sometimes I use this brush for my foundation, which I used a little bit, which I tried to show you guys, but I had an air on my memory card. So um, we're not going to be having that clip in this video because my other memory card was being weird. No idea why, because I literally just used it, but you know. I have another memory card that stores a lot of footage, but that one got left at my uncle's on Thanksgiving and I haven't got it back and that's the one with the lost vlog when I vlogged some at the mall for like the Christmas tree lighting thing. So I haven't got that memory card back, which is really frustrating. I should have told them to like mail it to me, even though we live super close to them, but they said that they would drop it off when they're in town. I haven't got over there to see them. I haven't been over there since Thanksgiving. So I'll probably just get it on Christmas. <laughs> so um, maybe that vlog will just have to go up later because yeah. I wanted it to go up at like the start of Vlogmas but I didn't get it back so that's what happened. Okay, so now after that, I'm going to be using some bronzer and I have this one by Too Faced. Fairly worn because you can't even see the gold on there anymore, but I really love using this bronzer. It's the Chocolate Soleil one. And I'm just going to apply some. Not the best at bronzer, so I don't really know how this is going to go. And sometimes like the foundation that I use like messes this up. I'm really gonna have to fix this. On this side, I'm gonna have to fix it because it looks super intense and I don't want it intense. I've been trying to put this lip balm on a lot because my lips get super chapped. And it makes my lips look really shiny and like really minty. It's like it's getting chapped over there. It just makes my lips look so intensely shiny which is weird but it has like a pearl finish to it and I like it because it kind of has a little bit of a mint feel to it which is nice. It has like a mint taste sort of but it just makes my lips look super intensely shiny so I don't wear it a lot because you know it's kind of bam in your face. It's like really really shiny so now on to what like eyeshadow. No, I'm going to do blush, obviously. And I think I'm going to do this blush by Laura Geller. This is awesome. I have two blushes by this brand, and it's amazing. This is a beautiful blush color, I'm just going to say now. Can you guys see how beautiful that is? It just reminds me of a MAC blush, even though 
I've never had matte blushes that kind of looks like those. Okay, so now that I have my blush and my bronzer on, my foundation, my concealer, I don't think I'm gonna set it with powder because I'm just doing YouTube stuff and if I was going out, I'd probably set my makeup with powder. But now I think I'm gonna move on to my eyes. So we're gonna do that. And I think I'm gonna use this What's Up that I got as a sample, a mini one. I still have this. And there's a good amount of product left. So I put some in the inner corners because I like to have a little shine in my inner corners. It's just fun. And then I'm going to put some under my brow bone because I think it looks really nice. There we go. I'm sorry if I have awkward faces when I do my makeup, but I feel like pretty much every girl does. I'm going to do my eyebrows a little bit. They aren't looking too bad today. I think I'm just going to use this. And this is the Brow Powder by Pure Cosmetics. It's a really small little product and it has a tiny little brush and I'm just gonna brush a little bit into my eyebrows because I don't need anything intense I'm not going for like a really intense look this is just gonna be like a kind of everyday look with a little bit of a twist because I'm probably gonna take some pictures I think it'd be fun to take some pictures outside like I said, it's not beyond really cold. It's just there's a lot of snow and we're supposed to get another snowstorm. So who really knows? I'm not sure. And I'm not looking in a smaller mirror, so it's a little bit tricky. Because I have this big mirror that's like right above my desk. And my makeup area is looking so crazy right now because I've been doing my makeup here, obviously. Um, highlighter, I have one in my drawer. I will get that out. It's like way in here. Okay, so I have this kit by City and Color. This is the Contour and Define. And there is a highlighter in here, which I really like. This one right here, obviously you can see. So I'm going to be applying that. And I'm going to use this brush because it's really nice. It's by Real Techniques. Highlighter has to be on point today. Just kidding, but why not? I'm just going to be applying it right there. And I know a lot of people have like certain fancy high-end highlighters, but I think this does the trick pretty well and I like it. So I'm just going to use this. And I'm going to put some down my nose because why not? i feeling a little fancy. Ooh, lighting is looking nice today. And I'm going to put some under my brow bone a little bit as well because I like to sometimes. It's just nice. This is a really nice highlighter, actually. I was impressed because, let me show you guys the swatch. It's a nice swatch. Like, that's a really pretty swatch. This is overall, like, a really nice kind of product. So, I recommend this. I'm not really sure where you can buy City and Color, but I'm assuming you can get it at the drugstore. So, lately, I've been using this City and Color Collection Smoky Palette. This is the Smoky Nudes. And I've been using these top shades a lot. Sometimes I just put them on with my finger and on my lid and I think they look really nice. So I'm going to use one of these colors because I like how it looks. But we're just going to do this eyeshadow and it's looking pretty good. Like you, know, the pigmentation of this eyeshadow is really nice too. I sound so fancy when I say pigmentation but I actually know what that means. Okay so my camera is flashing for the eyeshadow all i did was i took these two top colors here and i put this one on my lid and this one on my outer corner a little bit and kind of blended those in and i think that's all i'm gonna do for eyeshadow so now i'm gonna move on to my mascara and then i'm almost done because after that all i need to do is my lips so This is the Beauty For Real mascara. I'm going to very carefully put some on my lower lashes without trying to get some on my face because, yay, cool. Only I would get mascara on my nose. Typical. I think that's good for mascara. I'm gonna move on to my lips and I have to decide if I want to do 
a gloss or a lipstick because I feel like sometimes glosses don't look good on camera as they do in real life, but um, I'm going to use this NYX gloss today. And this one is called, actually I don't, where's the name? It's in beige, clearly. This is a beige color. So I'm going to be putting on this lip gloss by NYX and I love it because it has a bow on it. It's super cute, so we're going to put some of this lip gloss on as my lips weren't shiny enough. So now that my makeup is done, and just so you guys know, I was really hard to choose lip gloss. I have too many lip glosses. I don't know, I have a lot of lip products and it's funny because you only have two lips and I have like 200 things of lip gloss or lipstick. Probably not 200, but I have a lot of them. And it's because I make YouTube videos. That's why, guys. That is why. Okay, I got a brush. And I'm just going to brush out my hair because it's not too bad today. And if you guys don't know already, this is my natural hair. I have naturally pretty straight, long hair. Not much of a wave. I'm brushing out my hair because I don't feel like doing anything else to it. Sometimes I curl my hair. But... Most of the time I leave it down because it takes a lot longer to curl your hair if you have long hair. But I am going to do like a hair hacks video I think on my channel at some point because I have a few hacks that work. A few things. Can you guys imagine if my hair was like this short? Because I couldn't. Oh, Like I think it would look kind of cool but like that's just so much hair. Okay guys so this is the finished look with my makeup and then my hair which you know, all I did was brush it, but this is the finished look and this is what I do a lot of times for videos and stuff like that. I have been doing this eyeshadow look a lot lately. Usually I switch up the lip color, but a lot of the makeup that I used is what I've been using a lot lately, except for this because I ran out of it. But anyways, yeah, I hope you guys like watching this video for Vlogmas and yeah. Yeah, I hope you guys like this and this is the finished look. Save us in